Blessings and welcome. I am Tuesday May Thomas, and this is your weekly tarot energy forecast for December 25th through January 31st of 2017. This is our very, very last energy forecast of this year. And as always, I am so grateful. I am so very excited to be with you here today and every day. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching, sharing, following, commenting. I am so very grateful. Happy holidays, everyone. I use the Osho Zen Tarot, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's take a nice deep breath in, and a full exhale, and we're going to bless this reading with all of our hearts, with all of the love and light of this universe. I call in our angels, our guided, ascended masters, those loved ones from different dimensions, that have perhaps passed from this life, but that are still hanging out, serving as angels to us. We call in all of the light beings that love us. We love you too, and we thank you for garnering great clarity, great insight and communication through me, through these cards, through these readings every single day. May every single person who watches receive a nugget or, a, or, or many nuggets back to back of divine insight that they seek, that will serve them, in aligning to the truth in their hearts and with their authentic pathway home to themselves. Okay, oh, I'm supposed to hold on to this one. Letting go, ooh, isn't that appropriate for the last week of 2017? So I'm getting to move them into halves and I'm supposed to pick three from this side. Suppression, <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> integration. Playfulness. Okay, there's a beautiful balancer. And now I'm going to take the other half and I'm getting to shuffle them and we're going to choose three from this half. Okay, let's go. Oh, two, three fell out. Change, which is quite appropriate for the end of the year. Totality. We had this recently. <gasps> and possibilities. Mm -mm -mm. Possibilities. Bring them on, right? All the best and the most high divine possibilities. All right. So this is interesting. To start off, we have suppression. So this is the end of the year, right? If any, there is a time. It is this week, December 25th through December 31st, to release, to let go, to, to release the valve, right? If you've been stressed, and I know this holiday season can cause a lot of stress, and for some folks, being around family is very, very stressful. I talked to one friend and she said, yeah, we're just going to do Christmas Day for three hours and then we're out of there because, you know, family drama. And I was like, whoa, yeah, okay. For some people, it's really like that. I know for other people, they can sit around and, and have a few glasses of wine and spend days together on a full vacation for the holidays. But for other people, it's not that way. So depending on what it is for you, that you've been suppressing your feelings, your emotions, your insights, your thoughts, your words. This is the week to get them out, to say what you need to say, right? So because there's integration and letting go, all three in a row on the top, there's a sense of the things that you hold on to and that you suppress are not allowing you the sovereignty and the freedom to be the true version of you that you are. And that causes stress, right? And there's actually inflammation. This is a card of fire. So it's like you can get a boil, you can get pimples, you can get, um, you know, shingles, like high blood pressure. There's all sorts of physical ailments that can come through that fire energy when we continue suppressing and suppressing and suppressing our feelings, our truth, our emotions. So this is definitely a week to release. And for some of us, it's gonna be crying. Right? Crying for what did or didn't happen in 2017. Crying for all the things that have gone. Some of us have gone through, um, and I, I just speak loosely for the crowd. I know a handful of you personally. You know, Some of you are going through separations and divorces or you're moving out of a house or that you've lived with a partner for many years or that where you brought your children up and, and, and now it's time to move on and to create new pathways of destiny for yourself. So there's a lot of things that are coming to an end and a closure and this year these this top row is asking us for this last week of December is to really be honest with ourselves really be honest with yourself what are you suppressing 
right? And what can you release? What can you let go? Because it's only when that happens that greater integration, that your higher self can integrate in with your 3D self, with the personality version, the name that you've been given on this planet self, right? That's when, as above, so below, really integrates in its highest formation, in its highest development. As above, so below, sure. If below and above there are um, un unexpressed feelings that especially have to do with hurt, with pain, with anger, with grief, with confusion, with separation consciousness. If these things are not given a release, they tie us up and they strangle us. But when we allow ourselves, even just baby steps, one little thing at a time, allow ourselves to release, to let go little by little and to, to, to shed a few tears if we need to, but to resolve. And actually sometimes it's just us forgiving. Sometimes it's us forgiving another and placing love there, right? Sometimes it's, it's, it's not what they did, or maybe it was inspired by, the, the, by what they did, yet it's how we perceive it that has given it life where it has then festered inside of us. And really all we have to do is say, you know what, I forgive you. And when you forgive, right, it changes everything. The flood of emotions are available to flow and to create a healing and purification. And from that healing, from that releasing, comes a divine integration where your higher self, again, can fortify and nourish your 3D self, the version of yourself that is your name on this planet in a body. You are not just a body. You are a multidimensional being right? And this week we're remembering that. It's being sort of put into our face. And remember last week, I will put a link here of last week's tarot reading. There was a lot of working with the subconscious mind and getting very, very clear on, on creating new affirmations of self, creating new affirmations, which are really just the truth, the seeds of truth within you, but giving those, watering those, instead of focusing on what you don't want and what's wrong, right? Creating those, the correct conditions for the truth of you to sprout, right? For those seeds within you to find life, to water those seeds. Now, the suppression card though speaks to, there are things that your higher self, that your divine heart is telling you, is calling you to do. Like maybe your higher self is saying like, just call your father up and say, Papa, I forgive you. And your ego self, your third dimensional, your body self, your personality self is like, hell no. Do you know what they did? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. And you have a line, a, a list as long as your arm of reasons why you can't. Yet, you can't sleep at night. You're grinding your teeth. You have the shakes. You know, whatever all these interesting physical side effects might be. It's because you're suppressing. You're suppressing what you know is the truth. So who can you forgive this week? Who can you let off the hook? Man, it's 20. 18, almost here in a minute. Let yourself and let others start fresh. Give that as a gift to yourself and to others because that is how this integration of your truth will come into being. And this is how cosmic gifts and divine synchronicity finds you. When you are stuck right here, blaming others, um, holding on to past grievances and resentments, even though you know your work is moving towards the level of transformation, when you are not allowing to honor, when you are not in allowing of honoring the truth, like your higher self saying, just call him and say, I'm sorry. Just place love there or just text them and say, I know I was short with you. Forgive me. Ask for forgiveness yourself, right? That is when you create a divine appointment with Almighty God, with the source, with the love and light of this universe. And that creates a portal through which that love and light can act through you and create miracles in your life, miracles in your body, miracles in your mind and in your world. As above, so below. So what's going on above in your mind and what's going on below in your body? Are they matching up, right? And are they matching up because there's a lot of anger and fear and resentment going on up here? And then you're feeling like you have irritable bowel syndrome. You've got, you know, issues with your arthritis. Like, you know, besides dietary things, there's a metaphysical realm where our healing resides. And so how can we begin to welcome in a new way of thinking 
a new way of using our mind power so that we create the correct conditions for love to flourish, for the integration of our higher self with our 3D self, the personality self, so that we can bridge heaven on earth, so we can bring down to earth not only just the things that you think you want in your life, right, the book deal, the, the brand new car, the new lover, but your peace of mind, your peace and your power of being, your authentic truth, whether you're standing in line at the post office right, or filing your nails at home, or whatever it be, you're taking a, a hike, you know, that you are authentic to you. That is the gift, and it's all about you becoming more of yourself, right? And this leads to totality, which we had this a couple weeks ago, which is so beautiful, and it just goes to further express, right, it's a card of fire, just like our suppression card, but this is like the elevated version of this. Each person on this trapeze doing this acrobatic act, they need to be fully in alignment with one another. They need to be right as above, so below. If one of them, just one of them, decides for a split second to check their Facebook messages <laughs> while they're doing this act, the whole thing goes down. And look at the number in this and the diamond below for totality. It's five. And five represents the fifth chakra. And it's all about our ability to communicate and express our truth right? Let it out. Let it go. No, I think you need to, we, sh we should all count on three before we jump. Okay, well, let's communicate. So it's also, right, expressing your truth, communicating with clarity, but it's also that number five in the throat chakra is about hearing, is about not just hearing what you want to hear, but really listening to the other person. Well, no, I think we should go on the count of two, but I think we should go on the count of three, and that's that. And the other person's like, no, there's something intuitive about two. Watch, watch, watch. Feel it with me. And then you go through it, and then you're like, well, okay, I see where they're coming from. But then, once you make that commitment, then you all got to jump on two, or whatever the, whatever the gig is, right? To embody that totality so that everything happens seamlessly, creating those correct conditions within us is really all we have to do if we're going to do anything. And then the other part of the work, if you call it work, is being. Is simply being and embodying those aspects that you've chosen and letting the universe fold to you, bring to you perfect timing, perfect opportunity, support, upliftment, encouragement, possibility, ooh, which is one of our cards here at the bottom. Okay, so understanding that life is not happening to you from the outside, it's happening for you from your inside, right? So it's everything, all the subconscious seeds that you plant and that you give rise to, that you say yes to within yourself, all of the thoughts that you think, the words that you speak, and the energy you put out into the world is what is creating as above, so below right? So what is above and what is below? And can you sync them up? And when they sync up in the truth of your heart, this divine integration happens. Where really what happens is you become metaphysically invisible to the world, invisible to who you were in the past in the world. And there is a level of shedding a skin, that transformation card we had last week, so that you can be freer as you walk forward in your world. You can move with greater clarity, with greater ease, or not move at all. Just be where you are with greater clarity and greater ease. And that is the peace that we're talking about. That is the peace that is upon us. And of course, the end of one year and the beginning of another, we have this radical card, change, which is a, which is a, um, like integration. It is, what do I want to say? It is a card of the higher arcana. So it's got a lot of power in this. And what I always say with this card is it's like the wheels of time and space clicking. It's like a, an astrology wheel. It's like um, the dancing Shiva, right, character. It's just this dance where life seems to flow and happen in a certain way, in a certain rhythm. And then before you know it, boom, the thing clicks. The, the, the time, time, oh, time, see? Timelines click, things shift, and that one thing shifting, that one timeline shifting, does not just affect one aspect, it affects the, the greater whole, as if the hub was the spoke of the wheel, at the very center of the wheel. That's where the change happens, and it's this week within you, but that's where the change happens, and from that change occurring, from the deepest spoke of your inside, creates this atmosphere, this energy that radiates out 
right? And invites in like change that matches it. Though there is a there is an aspect with this change card that it is beyond it is beyond our grasp, right? The changes sometimes that happen in life are those things that we're like, where did this come from? This came from left field. I can't even believe, you know. Yet there is a divine appointment as I say in all things so even if it doesn't look like the kind of change you want to change this last week of 2017 your guidance is to be playful with it because the divine is always on your side and playfulness is the lighter version again of suppression it's a fire card and playfulness goes hand in hand with totality right so that as you learn to trust to communicate to hear to listen to be clear in your expression of truth within yourself no matter what change comes upon you you are always in tune with that you are always at one with your truth and in that way you can be light as a feather you can keep spreading your love you can keep back bending your way through life with an open heart and really look they're not even looking at where they're going they're just like Wee! you know this like this full-on playfulness where you're just playing with the universe you're just saying like let's have fun let's be let's co-create together divine source so no matter what that change is and what it brings maybe your car breaks down and it's like time for a new car right rather than like oh man I need ten thousand dollars to fix the car it's like what about what about it's time for a new car or what about you know hmm the car breaks down I've always wanted a chauffeur you know it's like thinking of new ways to be playful in how we create from the changes occurring so there is change upon us this week it's a change that we cannot help we cannot stop this change that's happening we've been working on it for years it's a part of a greater schism chasm uh, of, of all time and space and all minds. This is a collective change that is happening, yet we've been prepared. We've been preparing. We are prepared. We've been doing the work. We've been honoring and aligning our truth with the highest love and light of the universe. We've been letting go and letting love. And so in this way, we can coast, coast, coast through these changes, okay? So it's almost like Mercury's been retrograde. We've been reflecting, looking back, considering, resting, and sort of reviewing things. Things, and now it's like it's time for go and sometimes that time for go is like okay you get that phone call and you're like oh my god this is the call I've been dreaming about my whole life well you know what are you ready are you prepared <laughs> because God is calling if you watch my live stream 4d Trinity I'll put a I'll put a link here of the playlist. Every Thursday, I go live at 10 a.m. here on YouTube, and I have this little skit that happens uh, in the middle of the of the live stream called the God Phone. And it's like when God calls, you know, and whatever name you give God, it's um, it can be whatever name you give Source, you give the higher power, the love and the light of the universe, or just the universe itself. When God calls, it's time. And so, are you prepared? What little things can you do this week to continue correcting your 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 insights? Because remember, it all stems this, from the inside. How this change happens is ultimately happening from each and every one of us collectively, from deep inside of us. So it's going to reflect itself in a, in a, in a global way that's going to affect us individually. Yet, as we clarify and release those things that are straining that is that are creating like that kink in the hose of ourself and as we release and let that love and light flow by letting go right that divine inheritance of of cosmic integration comes upon us and we have greater clarity in that light to express ourselves with truth to communicate our very very honest authentic integral selves and to be able to hold that space for others so that as this change happens that we can't do anything about we can stand back and we can say oh look that's me I'm a part of that <laughs> and embrace it and harness that energy rather than feeling like a victim at the at the expense of it of, of, of it's like well we have to move out of the house now I'm separating from the husband and and you know oh my god and I'm gonna go into total victim mode instead of that or like my car broke down it's like wow then my next best most beautiful place must be right around the corner because this is happening right now we get to change it we get to be playful in our interpretation in our divine perception in our perspective of what's happening because that is the holy juice that gives way and gives rise to possibilities another fire card too there's an eagle 
I was hiking yesterday. Oh man. And I heard this and I thought it was someone doing an impersonation of an eagle. And I looked over my shoulder and I was like, oh, and I looked up into the sky and he was big. He was like turkey size. He was huge and his talons, his little feet were like massive. And I was thinking, okay, this is how they can fly by and like pick up a rabbit and keep going or a dog, you know, like they're just so strong. But they represent a, a special, a divine inherent wisdom that is yours and mine. And they have the capacity to see a much larger continuum, a much bigger picture of possibilities, right? It's like if I'm on the first floor and I look out and I go, I don't know, Bob, I can see, I can see there's a water fountain and I can see there's a gate and there's a path and Bob's on the third floor and Bob's like, no, dude, you got to come up to the third floor because up here there's like a jacuzzi, there's like a mini bar and there's like this, they're playing really cool black and white films. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, I'm going to go up to, to the third floor and I go up to the third floor. I'm like, oh my God, I can still see the water fountain. I can still see the pathway and the gate, but now I can sit in the jacuzzi, have a little martini. I don't really drink martinis, but this is just a metaphor and, you know, and chill and watch some black and white movies. And then all of a sudden we get a phone call from Carol who's like on the seventh floor and Carol's like mm -hmm. I know third floor is really good but check it out on the seventh floor there's like these cosmic beings that are here giving us amazing information and downloads and everyone's like lighting candles and meditating and it's really beautiful and there's this healing place where you go and you lay on these like six foot tall slabs of amethyst oh my gosh it's amazing and then we're going like well wait a minute okay cheers let's finish our martini in the jacuzzi and let's go up to the seventh floor and see what's going on and we're like oh my god Carol this is like like, so cool these beings are like wow totally on and these slabs of amethyst this is like amazing I didn't even know okay so I could go on <laughs> I could go on and on and on but the point is is that allowing ourselves to see a greater possibility of life requires your ability to be open to wonder to be open to the miraculous right? And to relinquish control. If you think you know how everything is supposed to act and happen and go down in your life, then that's what's going to be. You're going to get exactly that. As above, so below, as we were talking about, right? Either this week or last week. I've already, I've already forgotten. Yet, when we allow ourselves to be open and pick up the God phone and be like, oh my God, that's happening over there. Does that resonate with me? I'm going to go check that out, right? The, the, the higher we go up, the latter of ascension and of being open to the divine inheritance of what love, of what light, of what God, of what source has for us, the greater our vision, like that eagle, we can see a much larger realm of possibilities. It's like looking at a map, right? You're, you land in a new country and your map has just the, the inner city part to it. And you're like, well, I could go to this cafe. Oh, they serve vegan food. I can go there. Ooh, there's a tarot card person over there. But then all of a sudden a friend comes and they're like, oh, and here's a map of the greater, um, of the greater region. And you're like, oh my God, I always wanted to, to, to do, to, to hike and then go on a waterfall and get in the water. And there's a place here I see on the map where I can do that. Oh my gosh, I always wanted to pet baby goats. And there's a place I can go to do that. These are just metaphors and examples, but you get my point. Matter, right? The point here is open yourself up to greater possibilities and notice how you use your word, right? How you use your thoughts and how you express yourself and your availability to be playful with how life shows up for you because it has so many miraculous blessings for us this week. So just to recap, remember suppression is where we started off. What last final things of 2017? Can you just lay your burden down? Just lay it down. Forgive them. Forgive yourself. Place If you can't do that, consciously in your mind and your heart, say, I place love there. I place love here. And let go, right? Let go of those final little things. What do you not want to take into 2018 with you? Grievances, resentments, lack consciousness, right? Hate towards a, a sibling or, or a family member, right? Things that you need to pay someone back, that hundred dollars they've been waiting for like a year and it's Christmas. And yes, you might feel in your own lack consciousness that like, Ooh, do I have enough yet? Pay them back. Like clear. It's time to clear, to come complete, right? To complete because that changes upon us. And when it comes, you're either going to be, that rug is either going to be pulled out from underneath you and you can go for a victim mentality, even though the universe has been giving us signs and signals all year and for months, you know, you knew this was coming. 
you knew. You knew that you had to move. You knew that you had to do such a things for your children to get things in line. You knew you could be, you know, whether it was saving money, creating a new affirmation, a new way of seeing and of thinking of abundance for yourself, for your life. You knew, right, that that doctor's appointment, um, that you kept putting off and putting off and putting off and putting off, that you could have gone earlier. There's things, there's, there's signals all the time. So be true, complete, complete, so that as that change comes upon us, we can glide through it into our 2018, into our New Year's Eve, feeling blessed, feeling light, and feeling seen, and seeing others, and feeling heard, and hearing others, and blessing, and like a huge celebration, right? Together, rejoicing and the infinite possibilities of what this earth carries for us as we move into 2018. It is so, so exciting, and I'm so blessed to be with you here. Thank you, as always, for being with me now and evermore. Subscribe to this channel <laughs> by hitting the red button below, and then there will be a little bell, and you can hit the bell next to the subscribe button, and it'll let you know every time I post a new video when you come onto YouTube. And also, sign up for my monthly newsletter. Sometimes I send out two a month, and sometimes it's one a month, but it comes in your email as a love letter, and that will give you all the information about my teachings, my upcoming books, and my blogs, just all the juicy stuff that I love to share. I would love to do that, and I would love to keep in contact. So thank you so much for being with me. I bless you on this holy, holy day. Every day is really, really holy, right? It's just what we make of it. So blessings and thank you. Namaste.